Hi guys and welcome back to part two of how to carve a stamp. And the last tutorial I was using a pre-made stamp and just kind of showing with an exacto knife how to cle clean up a few edges, but I didn't really get to show you how to work with this lovely carving tool. So I'm gonna bring the camera down and show you a stamp that I've started and to show you how to properly hold and carve out maybe a hand. So. so in this, because this is a very soft linoleum, linoleum try to say that five times fast it's hard uh, what we're going to do is carve out all the areas that i don't want on my stamp so what i like to do is i like to follow one direction perfectly not a not a band i mean the actual direction you need to go with the carving tool <laughs> and all you have to do is remember to keep your fingers away from the blade and what you're going to do is just kind of slightly push and just go forward if you feel any resistance, obviously stop what you're doing so you don't hurt yourself. And it's okay if you have to go back and recarve a few areas. But I figured I'd show you, especially with this bigger area that I'm carving out, what that looks like as we carve. And truth be told, cutting linoleum is so meditative. I it's so therapeutic to just sit here and cut this stuff out. It's really relaxing. <laughs> I know some people think it's crazy, but when you start doing this, you will totally get what I'm talking about. There we go. Now, right now, I'm just trying to cut away my background and kind of looks like tree bark. And it's okay if some of these things get ink on it later because it adds that nice texture to the background. But whenever I want to do my hand, because I hand drew this on here with a pencil, I may want to go back and make my edges really thick like this and that way whenever I'm cutting around this this isn't so thin that whenever we put the ink on top of it that it wouldn't show up so it's important just to keep in mind if you have edges that you're gonna be doing like this they need to be thick so that they will show up when you're cutting around it so just to kind of give you an example again I'm gonna kind of follow the grain and you, what's really nice about this soft linoleum is that you don't have to press very hard and you can follow the line See, nice little curve right there. And then whenever you do the inside, kind of same thing. You don't want to get too, too close. And if you don't want to, that's fine. You can go back with an X-Acto and just clean it up. And I'm gonna just pull that out. I rewrite the outline of my thumb. So, but other than that, if you need to like move your linoleum block around for you to go and carve areas, that's fine. But just remember, never have your fingers in the way of the blade. Same with the exacto, just don't do it. But if you have any questions or concerns, please um, send me a message on Schoology, ask me in person, those kind of things. But other than that, I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing y'all next time. All right, bye-bye.